My name is uh, Fuad Mohammed. I'm the Chief Executive of Ashley Community Housing. Uh, Ashley Community Housing is an organization that exists to help refugees and new arrived communities. Uh, we give accommodation and the support services necessary to help them integrate into the community. Our mission is to help uh, refugees not only uh, have a safe place to live, but also become active members of the community. We have offices in Bristol, Birmingham and Wolverhampton, and we are award-winning organization that focuses also changing the perceptions uh, about refugees. So in essence, that's what we do. So we impact on three different fronts. So if I start with the accommodation side, when people come to us, usually they don't have, they've just been given their status and they are looking for somewhere to get accommodated. So either the council is referred to us or other local agencies and we assess whether they are suitable for the support service that we provide. So in any given year, we impact about 700 refugee uh, members. That could be families and single people that we give accommodation and the necessary support services. The other area where we impact is the training that we offer. Uh, so we upskill people who don't have any qualifications or people who have qualifications in their home country. When they come to UK, we help them translate that into equivalent UK qualification. And um, so we upskill them to a point where they can enter the marketplace. For some people, it could be basic qualification. For some people, it could be level one up to level two qualification. And for that group, we impact close to 2,500 people a year. And finally, we work with uh, the public sector as well as the private sector, uh, convincing them uh, to open doors to refugees, because no matter how good we do the first two, if they cannot find employment, if they cannot go to uh, HR offices in the local businesses and be considered as a professional, not as a refugee, they will never find jobs. So for that, we work with uh, across the sector. The opportunities, if I start with that, is the perception of the people have changed. Uh, so since 2015, when a young Erlen Kurdin, a young Syrian, a couple of years old, came to our shores in Europe, people have woken up to the idea of immigration, have woken up to the idea of refugees, uh, for good and for bad reasons. Uh, so you have a lot of populists and people saying we don't want migration in our country. So in essence, I believe there's a lot of willingness at the moment uh, within the UK and in Europe to work with refugees, which I, think is quite possible, which I think is quite good. The challenge, I believe, especially in the UK, is we are not doing as good as we can. We still see refugees in the humanitarian context where we help we want to help refugees uh, with charitable, in a charitable way rather than seeing the refugee as a human being who have talents, who have skills, who have aspirations. And if we give them the right opportunity, who can and will contribute to our society and economy. The challenge I currently see is that we see refugees in the humanitarian context rather than seeing them as people who have talents and skills and aspirations. It's a big challenge because unless we stop seeing refugees purely in the humanitarian context, we will never, refugee communities and migrant communities will never fulfill their potential. They will always be warehoused and, and encumbered in the accommodation as where they are. So for example, they just come to Southampton, they stay here, they will be given a house, but that's not it. We need to help them move on, become part of the economy, part of the society. And to do that, we need to see them as professionals, not as only refugees, as human beings, people who have talent, skills and aspirations, so that if we give them opportunity, the same kind of opportunity that we want, they will always be staying where they are.